Gran Turismo 7 update 1.40 is actually Gran Turismo Spec 2. We've finally got a significant update to Gran Turismo since it was released back in March. You have to sit through the opening credits. Now, the first part of the opening credits are exactly the same as the original Gran Turismo. And I kind of got flashbacks to sitting here at midnight on the launch day of Gran Turismo trying to skip the opening movie so I could play the game, learn how to set the car up and learn how to uh, ex explain uh, traction control, uh, the best uh, force feedback settings, the best ABS settings and deliver that uh, fastest settings in Gran Turismo 7 video. Uh, almost 300,000 uh, views for that video and watching through the credits again it, it, it made me a little bit sad initially because the first part of the credits is some fantastic uh, real life footage from uh, like 1970 something some real uh, fantastic uh, can-am cars and some le mans cars those cars aren't in gran turismo yet so that, that's a bit frustrating but then when it got to the new part of the intro video that showed everything that's available in spec 2 that's when it started to really get excited this is a really significant update for gran turismo 7 guys so i want to hear what you think in the comments below we're going to run through my first thoughts uh, for this update right now uh, so right from the main menu we've got a lot more features so cafe uh, that seems to be the place we're going to go there first of all um, so we've got some new menu books uh, these the world touring car 900 which is interesting that's the first time we've seen uh, world touring car 900 and x2019 nations cup so these will be uh, interesting menu books to go through and we've also got some extra menu books here. We're going to scroll down. It's standard car collection stuff. Many of them you might have got already. Lexus, as you see, I don't like Lexus that much. But there's an interesting car that I do like from Lexus. Uh, Porsche, uh, that one is on sale now, so I can get that one. And then there's the Red Bull. Uh, I don't have a Red Bull Junior. Apparently not. I'll have to go and get that one, guys. Heading down to a uh, tuning shop. Uh, there are going to be snow tyres available in the tuning shop whereabouts would they be under uh, they're under the extreme tuning uh, snow tires for 5,000 uh, credits I might as well get them for my uh, rallycross car one of my favorite cars in the game the uh, GR86 rallycross car uh, head on over to GT Auto it seems the engine swap option is now available that's always been available for quite a while maybe they're just reminding people how to do engine swaps in Gran Turismo 7. If you want to know how to do engine swaps in Gran Turismo 7, check out my links in the description below because I've got you covered for every single engine swap that's ever been in Gran Turismo 7. This particular car doesn't have one, uh, but it would normally be here. You need to be collector level 50 or above. Well, you can't get above 50, so you need to be level 50. Oh, look at that, the six snow tires on the car there, guys. That, that is pretty cool, actually. Uh, looks like that car needs an oil change as well. I might as well do that while I'm here. In multiplayer, let's see what's available here. So Paddock is a new one. I hear it doesn't work particularly well yet. Um, and there's split screen on PS5 specifically. You can have four player split screen. Not that I ever did two player split screen. Uh, as Super GT mentioned in one of his, his video, uh, I don't have any friends either. So maybe we can hang out Super GT. Let, let me know in the comments. We've of course got the new cars available, some of them in Brand Central, some of them are in Legendary Dealerships. Uh, so there they are, the three new cars in Legendary Dealerships. I'll be covering those in future videos, make sure you're subscribed uh, for that one. Looks like the um, uh, the vintage RA 727 is back, uh, that's a pretty fun car to drive actually guys. Uh, and we are good there, 20 million credits for that Ferrari still, I've got a tune on my channel for that one guys check that out if you want to and i think the most significant part of the update is what they've changed for world circuits menus and uh, a weekly rotation now this is an interesting one because that in itself is fantastic but it's not quite how i'd like it to be so sarah hi sarah again good to see you uh, weekly challenges have begun uh, we can access weekly challenges from the green panel at the top right of the screen fantastic stuff uh, so up here, that's your events uh, directory progress. I'm only 37% of the events. That's not good on me. Uh, and the weekly challenges. We've got six days remaining. So I guess it would uh, reset every Wednesday, I would imagine. This is where you'll also be able to access special weekly limited time online events. That's interesting. That, that could be fun. 
be sure to drop by, blah, 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 to find out. Okay, so the interesting thing here, guys, are these unique events or are they events that already are on the calendar? Okay, so let, let's, let's go and check it out. So this one here, the Ferrari uh, Circuit Challenge. Um, was that there already? I can't remember. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, so one instantly annoying thing that I've found is that I want to go and browse through some of these events. Uh, so if, for example, I head over to the middle one, I press X to go over there to have a look at it. So I have a look at it, mm, looking good, limited time online event, that's pretty cool. Uh, I want to go back to the menu I was in. So I press B for back and um, it's taking me to there. I don't want to be here. I want to go up here. I guess you could just choose up to there to go back. That's a quality of life thing, guys. That, that, that's something that's clearly been missed, missed in beta testing or any testing. Did they even test this? Let me know in the comments, guys. This is my first go playing this menu and I've spotted that immediately. If I was to choose any one of these, uh, you'd think that pressing circle to go back would take you back to that green menu. But it takes me to the fucking world screen. I don't want to be here. I can't even get to the, uh, the, the, the green menu. So I've got to go back again to go up to find the green menu. That, that's frustrating, guys. Why hasn't anybody noticed this? How did this get through to public release? Sorry, that's a little negative. Uh, Polyphonic Digital have done well with uh, adding these events. Now, I, these appear to be new events. Maybe just one of them's a new event. Honestly, guys, I can't remember. Let me know in the comments below if this is a... Yeah, past results, second place. So, for sure, these are recycled. Uh, but it seems that one of them... That's new because I've never had this, this update before. Uh, that one appears to be new. Uh, yeah, no, Pass Resort first. I've done this one before. Not that I can remember doing it, to be honest. Um, that's annoying. So it looks like only one of the, yeah, the limited online time events. So there's only one special event. So, I, okay, that, that's okay, guys. One event every week isn't a bad thing. So yeah, basically this is a spec race. So it's the Porsche Cup, uh, number of cars. It's only tw it's only five laps. Uh, payouts are pretty poor. It's good. It's variety, guys. You know what? I I'm not going to moan too much. It's giving you variety. It's giving you reasons to play uh, some of these events again. So th this is a good thing. As much as I've moaned about it, this is actually a good thing. Uh, although the completion reward is a roulette ticket. I think the less said about that, the better. Okay, we also have a new track. So this is quite a bizarre track, to be honest. Can it be called a track? It, it's it's a rally stage. It's a rally track. Um, so the circuit experience is well in the uh, GRB uh, Peugeot car. So that's 1.2 million credits. That's a pretty significant chunk of money uh, for this. So that's, that's pretty good. I've, I've got to say... It's good to see a track. It's random to see a snow rally track, but let's not complain uh, another area to play Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo, the best thing about Gran Turismo is the variety in Gran Turismo. If you want a specific dedicated racing sim for GT3 cars, and I think ACC is probably better. It's more immersive, it's more detailed, it's very high simulation, it's incredible. But what is fun about Gran Turismo is it's just a bit more chill, it's a bit more relaxed, it's a bit more variety and you can just turn up, throw the car down and just go and race and have fun. Whereas with ACC you need to put a bit more effort into tyre pressures, uh, all that kind of stuff. So so this is, this is good to see variety in Gran Turismo 7. So let's take a look at the event directory. This is a, a pretty good way to see what stuff you're missing and it's almost the opposite view of how you would see them before. Before they were listed by tracks, now it's listed by events, which is actually really good. So oh, there's a, a Group 1 prototype series race that I probably haven't done. 
so yeah, I haven't done the Fuji prototypes race because it's a very poor payout. That's probably why. Um, so yeah, it's it's good to see it from this perspective, and it actually gives you the recommended car down in the corner. So th this is helping. This, this is a good quality of life improvement for Gran Turismo 7. Uh, this is good to see. Now also in spec to Gran Turismo 7 license center, we've got new master licenses. This is again, pretty interesting. So yeah, this guy's telling us we can see uh, national licenses, all good there. Yep, we can hear what you've got to say. Let's get started. So basically from, can't get to where I need to go there. Mm, again, another like annoyance here. I want to go, I want to go to normal license, but going up isn't taking me to that. <laughs> it's frustrating. So you've got to go all the way to the right to go up to normal license. Uh, quality of life improvements required, guys. But anyway, so there's all the normal licenses. You've, you've completed all these. That's all fine. Uh, right through to S. It's all good. Uh, and then you've got master license, which is available. Um, now, here's a little tip, guys. The uh, Lexus LFA is available after completing, I think it's International B. If you gold all of International B, you get the Lexus LFA 1.5 million credits worth of car for free. You don't need to buy it from Brand Central. I'll probably be covering some of the more difficult uh, licenses in future videos, guys, so make sure you subscribe for those ones. If you are a sport mode player in Grand Turismo 7, then I don't think there's anything in this update that's made any significant difference. I think you get to see your sport mode uh, driver rating and safety rating uh, differences after the race to see whether you went up or down on SR or DR. That's a good thing. Aside from that, there's not a great deal extra. Uh, I think sport mode is, is probably in a pretty good place right now, certainly with online time trial. Uh, there's a lot of online time trials where you can get good credits in Grand Turismo 7 now. Uh, this is the new um, time trial for this update with the Nismo uh, 400R. Uh, that'll be an interesting one. Uh, Tokyo Expressway and Walls. Um, yeah, that'll be a frustrating one. A lot of red lap times for that one, I think. So that's going to cover this initial impressions for basically Spec 2 Grand Turismo 7. I feel like this is Gran Turismo 7.2. It's a huge update. It's good to see. I, I don't know what sparked this update. Is this directly in relation to Forza? I, I'm not sure, guys. Is it directly in comparison or relation to WRC game? Because we've got a rally track. Launch time is very spookily close to WRC. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I actually really like this update. As, as negative as I was during the presentation of this, I think it's a great update. Uh, it's good to see it's such a significant update. Is this going to be the only mid-release update or will we get a Spec 3 in one year's time? I have no idea, guys. I'm quite interested to let me know what you think. That's going to be it for this video, guys. On screen right now is going to be links to other videos which you're going to find very useful for Gran Turismo 7. We need to earn credits or set up your car. Go and check those ones out and we'll catch you in the next one.